I think we need a lot more in the way of testing capabilities so that people will know whether or not they're safe to be able to, to go to an event. Demand for COVID-19 tests in North Texas remains high as people return from Christmas gatherings and prepare for New Year's celebrations. The number of people testing positive continuing to rise in the Department of State Health Services, telling us there is plenty of testing capacity despite the long lines you see in these images. Now, if you need to get tested, we have that QR code. It's up right now on your screen. You can actually scan it with your phone for a listing of any testing site near you. Our Jack Fink, he is live in Richardson at one drive up site. It's had long lines most of the day. I saw you earlier, Jack. Different tests out there for people to consider, however. That, that's correct, right? Well, that's right, Steve. There are the rapid antigen tests that offer results in 15 minutes or less. But yeah, try finding these in the stores right now. It's almost impossible. So that leaves people trying to find places that offer the rapid test. And then there are the PCR tests, which is what all these folks have been lining up to do all day today. They give results in 24 hours or longer and are considered the gold standard for accuracy. But an infectious disease doctor tells us more tests are needed that give the fast results. Uh, I think we need a lot more in the way of testing capabilities so that people will know whether or not they're safe to be able to, to go to an event or to meet with members of their family who may be at risk. Dr. Charles Lerner praises the rapid antigen tests, even though they're not as accurate as the PCR tests. Aside from private facilities, county health departments are providing the PCR tests at multiple sites. Tarrant County and the city of Fort Worth have expanded those tests. A spokeswoman with the Texas Department of State Health Services told us today there seems to be plenty of PCR testing capacity and enough PCR testing being done to give us a picture of what is happening. We haven't heard of widespread issues accessing testing through the public health or health care systems. And while that's useful from an epidemiologic standpoint for the state, it doesn't help an individual who wants to know, uh, is it safe to go somewhere today or tomorrow? The state health department says it's still providing COVID tests for schools and that the Texas Division of Emergency Management is processing requests for tests from local communities. Mr. President, this is... President Biden announced earlier this month that the federal government will provide 500 million at-home rapid tests, but they won't be made available until next month. Meantime, the state of Connecticut announced this week it will provide 3 million at-home rapid tests to its residents as soon as possible. I think it's a superb idea. Uh, the more at-home tests we have available, the more likely they are to be used. Now, the state of Texas has not announced any plans to distribute at-home rapid tests. As for this drive-up testing site in Richardson here at Plano Road and Beltline Road, it's closing for the day at 6 o'clock. It'll reopen tomorrow at 8 o'clock. They are no longer accepting appointments because of all the demand here. Live in Richardson, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.